Alright, it's Christopher Fox once again, and this is a request this time for Jane, 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 and in this video is Top 10 YouTubers Who Should Be in Jail. Okay, let's check it out. Yo, you created this false narrative. I Onision. Onision was a fucking freak, bro. People in the public eye often have a lot of expectations to live up to, but sometimes those standards are unrealistic. Extremely questionable things that should probably require some sort of punishment. Um, I'm out. Let's see, how old is this video? Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Borja Escalona. Borja Escalona is a YouTuber who is What? That's, that's fucking. Sure that's assault. That's not funny. What a freaking weirdo. I like being touched by strangers, period. And this shit, I'll, I'll point you in the dick if you try and touch me and shit. Especially strangers. Fuck you. Keep your hands to yourself, people. Accident, but it's just a picture perfect example of exactly what not to do. In our number nine spot today, we have Exervia. Exervia is a British YouTuber who is now located in Bulgaria, but has an ongoing investigation out of the Netherlands. He used to co host a podcast with an artist who is also autistic called Photo and Grind. Photo and Grind filed a multitude of complaints against Exervia for different physical violent acts, as well as blackmail and harassment. After these yeah, just to give other YouTuber. Investigation was of course launched by the Dutch police. Not every other YouTuber, never but any of it publicly except for when he deleted comments on his own subreddit about the incident, which I believe speaks volumes. He also ended up being banned from the thread, which is definitely for the best. Yeah, the police investigation is he's a weirdo. still ongoing since 2017 because of the fact that he has yet to turn himself in, which again truly says a lot. In our number 8 spot today, we have Gaga Stajols. Gaga, Gaga Stajols is a YouTuber from Serbia whose channel has actually been shut down for a while. And for God, a he had a horrible reason. camera. In Jesus. In 2018, a news outlet reported on a video where he was seen harming a goat. Oh, in Jesus video, Christ. Animal cruelty. disgusting things about what he would like to do to the goat. And while that actually... What is wrong with him? Oh, my illegal, God. It sure is creepy and weird. And the rest of the video is illegal. Apparently, he also had a Facebook page where he would document all of the things he would do to the animal as well. God, that's fucked up. What is wrong with people? people on Facebook, but this one certainly takes the cake. He is definitely the type of person... He hasn't even he has, he has brushed his fucking teeth. He's fucking creepy. Bad enough, but just to add an extra layer, this person was also working at a child care center, all while uploading these horrifying things. God, there haven't been any that's... Accusations as far as the children go, which is really good news. But it's just so chilling to think of someone who's doing these types of things being around children. In our yeah, I today, protect your children, Wolf. people. Carol the Wolf, whose real name is Joshua Hoffman, is a furry YouTuber. Oh, this guy, okay. I know, I know him. I don't know him, but he just said me fucked up. Interview, however, both Shane and Carol have had their fair share of controversy, but in today's video, we are only talking about Carol. He ended up being exposed for his behavior towards his dog. Yeah, Koda, he, he was a necrophile, basically. Well. He was silent for a and while. And a bestiality. While there was a criminal investigation into this matter. Unfortunately, however, the silence didn't last forever because Carol uploaded a video in March of 2021 where he deleted any and all negative comments. He looks like a normal person, but the thing is, he's, he's a creepy, weirdo, fucking gross fuck. That there was not enough evidence for the police to lay any official charges. Onision. Okay, I knew he'd be on here because he was in the intro. An YouTuber, and honestly, guys, are you even surprised he's on this list today? No, I'm not. A ton of specific detail about everything he did. All these guys should be in fucking jail. Too long, as well as the fact that some of the things he said are just things I cannot repeat on this channel. He's been I don't want to hear it anyways, so don't say anything. He's been accused of being a predator for harming animals, and honestly, the list unfortunately yeah, goes on. 
even Chris Hansen has made attempts to intervene, which obviously says a lot. He no, he's an asshole. He would be quitting YouTube and Twitter, but as of making this video, his made fun of Christina Grimmie's death. How much so. fucked and up can you get in that? We have Daddy o okay, and <laughs> they be on it. Yeah. Sure I've heard of him. He's a asshole. She's no better either. He might be worse than he is. The youngest child in the family is named Cody, and he would often get pretty brutally bullied by his family members. And it for no fucking off. reason. In the video, which I think may have been the final straw for the people who watched the channel, was a video where Michael pranked Cody into believing that he had made a mess on the carpet. Cody is visibly so scared and so traumatized that he begins to cry. At which I'm point surprised he didn't have a fucking heart attack though the way they were yelling at him. Only further the terror that Cody was, of course, feeling. Now, Cody and his Protect your kids, people, I don't cost. Where I hope that they are both much safer and that they have been able to heal from all of the things they endure at their dad's house. Why won't they want their bots come out in the first place? Say. from Brazil who also used to be an esports player. Randomly, she was also in charge of running the public ministry of Sao Paulo. I never heard of most of these guys. You might be wondering why that is relevant, but just wait. Between 2013 and 2017, it was alleged that she scammed a total of 118 customers who tried purchasing items at this online store. She had said that it was due to bad administration and that there were many other items and customers that had no issue at all. She did end up being arrested and tried, and in a pretty crazy turn of events, in March of 2020, she was actually sentenced to 116 years in prison, Whoa. which will definitely seems exceptionally extreme and unnecessary. Yeah, it Her is. Of course, appealed it immediately. She remains outside of jail currently and is still very active on social media. If she really did scam people, she probably should see some sort of punishment for that, especially considering she's not struggling financially. But I don't think 116 years in jail is exactly reasonable for a crime of this size. It's not fair. In our number three spot today, we have I'm Jay Station. I'm Jay Station. Uh, I know YouTuber who he is. He is no stranger to controversy. In January of 2020, he did something. He shouldn't necessarily be in jail, but he needs to be banging off YouTube for a while. Saying that his girlfriend, Alexia Morano, had been killed in a car crash. Well, when yeah, may, never mind. He should be in jail. I don't know. Because that would obviously be an incredibly tragic situation. But here's the thing. That didn't happen. Why would you lie about anyone passing away at all, let alone a real living person? He wasn't normal. Care about? It's just weird. Anyway, since that day, many people have come out to speak about Jay's alleged... Of course she made a video on saying she's alive. I'm here, I'm alive, and then he just... ...towards women, especially those he was dating. There's a whole slew of other things that he has done that have caused... She was telling get another girlfriend, that's for sure, for posting that shit. It's fake crying and shit. Spreading misinformation about the COVID-19 pandemic. His channel was officially terminated on March 12th of 2021, and he took to Twitter to call YouTube the worst platform ever, and he has even threatened to sue. There's something about a grown man having a temper tantrum about the consequences of his own actions that is very satisfying to watch. Yeah. In our number two spot today, we have Albrecht Studios. Albert Studios, Albert Studios. That reviews and comments on the Cartoon Network show Ninja Go Masters of the Spin I was never the fan of the Ninja Go series. I was more into like the, the modern Studios cartoons like Apparently, Billy Manny and stuff like that. And Ned and Nettie. He would bait them into giving out credit card information for what he called giveaways. Give, well, giveaways. giveaways. And he would apparently actually spend their money, which I suppose in most cases was actually the fans' parents' money. Aside from this, he also oh my God. He... What, at the time, so he's so apparent. Legacy set, and there are lots of rumors that have swirled of him being a creep as well. I obviously cannot confirm if any of this is true, but if it is, there is no doubt that some criminal charges could certainly be laid, especially in regards to the scamming. In our number one spot today, we have Playmate Tessie. Oh God. Tessie, whose real name is I think I've heard of her. YouTuber, yeah, I, she's a... Yeah, of course he is. Nothing but a troll and a bitch. Type things, but now she's mostly known for the insane controversy surrounding her. In January of 2021, she was recorded on a chat on Omegle making fun of a cancer patient. She needs to be in jail to this day. When called out for this, she made a tweet that read, If you don't want to be made fun of for having cancer, just don't effing have cancer, dumb. Screw you. So it's obviously a fun 
abundantly clear that she is in fact not a doctor. She was also she's not a doctor. She's just a weirdo. It was very clear that she saw nothing wrong with it and quite literally didn't care. She also she doesn't give a two shits about the people because she's a fucking self-centered diva brat bitch. And that they should be sent to the gas chambers. I absolutely could not make this stuff up, you guys. Her dad is famous writer Jim West, and when he heard of all of this, he kicked her out of the house. I would have too if I was her fucking dad. Screw her. And even went as far as to call the cops on him, where she falsely told authorities that he was abusive, mentally ill, and had threatened to kill her with guns. After this whole thing was cleared up, she was staying in a hotel and decided to dox her dad. And just to add a few more things to the list in case it wasn't already long enough, she once said that racism should happen, and then proceeded to make fun of Mexicans and Germans. She apparently had the what kind of shit is she smoking? She must be high as a fucking kite. And she is also famous for harming her cat. So, all in all, there's a lot to unpack here. Alright guys, that is She's puffing something, that's for sure. Thank you for checking it out. I've been your host, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. Most, I mean, playing by Tessie and Jay Station... Daddy Ophi, Onision, Care of the Wolf, they're fucked up. Um, the one number. The Shay Girl didn't deserve what she got because she was with scam people, but. I mean, I think Care of the Wolf and Playmate Tessie should be switched. But, that's just me. What do you think is the worst YouTuber? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think any of these guys should be in jail right now? Let me know in the comments as well about that. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you all in the next video. It will be next. Peace out.